And Martinez explains how. The amount of fatalities during the last year, they're on the rise. Chief Mark Bailey with Jefferson State Community College's Police Department knows the dangers of the opioid epidemic well. This is about a partnership because law enforcement will never be able to address the issue by themselves. The college is taking a stake in the opioid crisis, helping train local law enforcement agencies, volunteer fire departments, and the public on how to deal with opioids. And what we're focusing is in the smaller departments, especially the ones that work in an area where there's volunteer fire departments, not full-time paramedics that would be easily available to respond to a scene where there was a delay. Those few minutes can make the difference in life and death. Jeff State has been conducting this training for eight years, focusing on how to administer Narcan, the rescue shot against an overdose, and how to investigate opioid cases. It's a partnership with a federally funded agency, Gulf Haida, high intensity drug trafficking areas. What we're focusing on those is the people that don't have medical training because if I can take the law enforcement officer in the car who's now having to wait 30, 45 minutes, an hour for somebody to get there, if we can put it in his hands, that will be the difference between life and death. The next Narcan training will be in August. It's free and open to the public at Jefferson State Community College. Marley Martinez, WVTM 13. Federal officials warn the powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl is dangerous not just to drug abusers, but to the first responders who go out on overdose calls.